Hey, Ma, is there any food left? We're just about out of everything. You want me to go into town for you, then? That's all right. Twink said she'd do some shopping for me. Oh, but she said she'd only be gone for a few days. What happened? Mm. Hey, that sounds like a carriage, don't it? Ah! Miss Twink! Ah! Good to see you, Jody. I brought some things your mother asked me to pick up for her. We was really starting to get worried. Jody. I had a feeling you might be. That bug eats enough food for four people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I feel better now. You're welcome. Jody, we'll be starting up our lessons tomorrow. But, uh... uh... It's all right now. You can go to school. And guess what? You can bring Flag along with you if you like. Huh? Flag? As long as it's all right with Twink. Oh! Flag! Oh, boy! Yippee! Flag! <laughs> hey, Flag! Guess what, Flag? You get to go to school with me tomorrow. Both Ma and Miss Twink said it's okay. How about that, Flag? You're gonna be the first dear that's ever gone to school. Now listen up, Flag. You're gonna have to be quiet in the classroom. Come on, Flag. Hurry up. You can't be tired yet. Ah. Look. I'll carry you now, but when we get to fodder wings, you're gonna have to walk, otherwise people will laugh at you. Uh. Hmm. 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 Hi, Buck. Uh. Buck didn't see me there watching him. He was working real hard. Even from where I sat, I could see the sweat on his face. And as I sat there watching him, I began to realize how great it was to have him around, helping us out. Even when I remembered how he'd been eating up all our food and snoring so loud every night. I was so caught up in watching him, I forgot about the time. So me and Flag ran the whole way to Fodderwing's. Fodderwing was waiting for me up on the fence. Hey! Today was the day the new pupil was supposed to be there. Huh? Uh. Sounds like a girl. Oh, no! Huh? You Laylee? Miss Twink, is you Laylee the new pupil? That's right, Jody. Only for one day, though. Only for one day? Me and my papa stayed at Doc Wilson's last night. You Lally wanted to come see what our classroom was like. Just having a look, huh? Mm-hmm. Huh? Here, come on, Flag. Oh, you brought a fawn to school with you? Is that why you come to school, Jody, so you can play? You'd be in big trouble if you brought a fawn to my school. Ah. <sighs> Don't look so surprised, Flag. There's lots more like her in town. This shrimp here is what we call a girl. What did you call me, Jody? Mm. Now stop it, you two. Ah! Why, Flag, you've grown so big while I was away. I don't think he's changed at all. You don't notice him growing, because you're always with him. Really? Does he bite? Not yet, but you never know. Flag's not used to ugly faces. Oh. You can pet him. And he smells like a baby. That's because he only drinks milk. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're cute, but you'd be cuter if you weren't Jody's. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, class, shall we begin? Yes. yes. Since 
there are so many pupils today, we're going to have roll call. Jody Baxter? Here. Butterwing Forrester? Right here. Eulalie Boyles? Here. Trying to look smart. And Flag Baxter? Ah. Flag, that was your name she called. Go on and answer her. Go on. Flag Baxter? Ah, uh, here. <laughs> 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 I liked going to school anyway, but that day was really something special to me. Thanks to Buck helping out with the work at home, I was able to keep going to school. And even better, I was able to take Flag along with me. And he behaved himself real good, too. He sat there so quietly and listened to Miss Twink. And even though there was only one more pupil, plus Flag, our classroom felt like it was full up for the very first time. <laughs> <laughs>